Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And welcome back to our sponsor, Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. And they are, of course, getting ready for the peak of the hurricane season. So when it comes to generators and and, and pumps and whatever it is you need uh, to get through a tropical storm, uh, heaven forbid we have to deal with one, uh, you can head over to Omni, Omni, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. Best prices on Long Island, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So here we are. It is a Tuesday, and we've got sunshine uh, back, and it's going to be a hot day. It's going to be a humid day. There is a weak weather front that is going to be approaching and moving on through, and it's really not going to be doing much of anything. It might produce a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms, Mainly up in New England. I'm not even going. Th- I, I'm thinking we're probably not going to see much of anything today in, in most, a- most, if not all areas in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, down into Virginia, uh, northern Virginia, as far as uh, thunderstorms are concerned. You can see from overnight, there are st- some strong storms in southeast Indiana moving again uh, toward Kentucky, and we're also seeing some thunderstorms firing up along the uh, Gulf Coast, uh, but uh, the radar is fairly quiet. The storm, uh, some showers in upstate New York and approaching uh, northwestern Maine uh, in, the, in the areas to the south. There's the, there are the storms in Illinois and, and into southern Indiana. It looks like maybe a bit of a derecho here uh, in central Illinois that's moving southeastward and a little patch of showers getting ready to move into, out of Kentucky and into Tennessee, and you see the scattered scattered activity in the Gulf states and also back out to the plains and uh, going westward into uh, southern Idaho and into Oregon. And this is as of uh, 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern time uh, with regards to uh, what you're seeing on the radar. The uh, Storm Prediction Center has a small area of slight risk in Kentucky, southern Illinois, and southern Indiana. But notice no thunderstorms are forecast from uh, Maine down into uh, northern New Jersey, and most of Pennsylvania, just general thunderstorms elsewhere up and down the East Coast. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk for uh, tomorrow. Uh, this is for Wednesday into Thursday up in parts of Michigan and the marginal risk extending down into Missouri and over into Kansas and on day three. Uh, no severe weather is being indicated, although we're seeing general thunderstorms for the inland areas from up and down the East Coast. And actually, from Massachusetts down into Delaware and New Jersey, uh, no thunderstorms are being forecast for Thursday. So uh, it's all about uh, b- really the same old story in the upper ridge and, and and the heat and the humidity over the next few days. So here we have the rainfall forecast for WPC. We're talking about maybe a half to three quarters of an inch north and west of the coast, north and west of the big cities. So if you draw a line from, say, Boston to Hartford to New York City to Philadelphia, Baltimore and Washington there from north and west. You're looking at maybe a half to three quarters of an inch. And from there, south and east, we're looking at a quarter of an inch or less. Uh, it's just uh, it's just uh, dry, at least along the immediate coastal areas, but at least some inland areas getting some rain. And the bigger rain amounts that we've seen in the Ohio Valley and Tennessee Valley, at least those have kind of lessened a bit. And we're still seeing anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half uh, from southeast Texas, east across into Florida. And, you know, that's been pretty much uh, constant here also for the last uh, week or so. I'm not really seeing too much here uh, with regards to significant changes. Of course, as we said, today's weather front, as we uh, take a look at here on the GFS, uh, is coming through uh, with no fanfare. You see some showers this afternoon in upstate New York and back up into northernmost New England. Uh, then for tomorrow, the front goes offshore. Tomorrow will be a sunny day. It'll be a hot day, a little less humid. There will be a little bit of dew point relief. We're going to see high temperatures today, mostly reaching the lower 90s. Tomorrow it'll be more like upper 80s and low 90s. But again, that slight dew point relief only to give way to very humid and very hot conditions for Thursday. I think there's a good chance that we could see some of the hot spots around warmer urban centers get close to 100 degrees. So mostly middle and upper 90s. It will be cooler right along coastal areas, particularly in southern and southeastern New England coastal areas will probably be more like upper 80s and low 90s there. 
some showers and thunderstorms popping in during the afternoon and evening well north and west of the coast as another weather front comes through, and this one also a relatively weak one. We could see a chance for showers and thunderstorms triggered off on Friday. Friday's temperatures will be up in the, mostly in the lower 90s ahead of this. And uh, the front looks like it just lingers a little bit, but it actually just falls apart on top of us. So still seeing uh, some scattered storms well inland on Saturday, but I think the weekend is going to be okay with no worse than a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures on Saturday probably mostly mid-80s to near 90, and then on Sunday we'll be back up into the 90s again. Uh, and that hot weather will probably last through Monday as another cold front comes on through. That may finally shut it off uh, as far as the 90 degree plus days. That front's a little more significant and it actually wants to get hung up close by and maybe produce some showers along the way. But you know what? We've seen the models do that a, a number of times before and it winds up being BS. So we'll see how it we'll see, of course, how it all evolves over the coming days weather in five brought to you by omni true value hardware at 1226 north wellwood avenue in west babylon 631-756-1125 is the telephone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com the joe and joe show will be back tonight at 7:30 eastern on my youtube channel joe chaffee we hope to see you then